Hello everybody, this is Krebs Coho with the How To series, How To Counter an MG. So first off, we have an MG right here, facing forwards towards the opponent's base, um, which would be you. How do you counter such a thing when its angle or its cone is covering this entire area? Um, there's actually a few ways to counter an MG. Um, I'll be going over coming in at different directions, using a bait squad, using a sniper, um, extreme angles and there's actually a few others as well um, so first off we're going to be doing it coming from extreme ang um, coming from uh, different directions so placement is key here if you look on the map right now um, I have a pioneer squad here armed with flamethrower good at killing um, infantry I've got Volksgrenadiers here and I've got Volksgrenadiers here so as you can see three different directions so we'll start the start the game and as you can see, coming in all at once. And what you're taking advantage of here is that the fact that uh, you are not in his range of fire. You come up behind him, come up, come up to him through the side, and that is how you effectively take out an MG. How to take out an MG using a bait squad. So first off, the most important thing about the bait squad, as you can um, tell from its name, is that you use a squad that will take damage. Um, the beauty of this is that the MG can only fire one direction at a time. So if you guys are in the center, this leaves an opportunity for you, for you to come th in through the sides, as you can see through this cone. So let's get this started. And as you can see, two flanking squads coming in from the sides, while this squad is being pinned. As you can tell, these squads were not suppressed because they are not taking direct fire. How to counter an MG using a sniper. So as we see here, we have this MG here again. Um, what we don't want to do is go directly in with this MG manned. What we want to do is snipe the guy that's using the MG. This has a delay between it being manned again. And so then we can charge in. So we have a sniper here, and a few Volk squads, getting ready for the attack. Snipe first, kill the first guy, has to be remanned. This gives us, just gives us an opportunity to charge in, as you can see the next guy being taken out. And taking minimal damage. How to counter an MG using extreme angles. So as you take a look on the uh, cone of fire for the MG, you can tell that you can um, you can come in from this direction. You can come in from this direction, and um, these are basically the extremes of the cone of fire. Um, what we're taking advantage of here is the fact that the MG has to take time to s turn around and fire on your guys. So that slight delay is what we're taking advantage of. So two Volksgrenadier squads coming, one from each side. The squad taking a little bit of fire. This gives the uh, opportunity for these Volksgrenadiers to get by. These guys can crawl away. And usually if this is uh, done even more well, you won't even take any fire whatsoever. And the flank is successful. Now I listed four ways to counter an MG there. But there's actually a few other ways. The ways that I went over were very basic. They should be second nature to you, but there's also some uh, specific situations to counter MGs. So for example, you could use a mortar, if you ever notice that it has a free ability to use smoke, if you place that sheath of uh, smoke in front of an MG, that gives you cover, um, also gives you uh, reduced accuracy, so you can actually charge right in on the MG and get behind it. There's also some other ways, such as using camouflage for the infantry commander, or some units have a fire up ability. This uh, gives you suppression immunity and allows you to just charge right through them. Now, there's actually four things that you need to be aware of when you're about to take on MG. The first thing, be aware of what units you have on the field. Do not charge in with anti-tank weapons or something like that. Make sure you have anti-infantry. Um, be aware of the MG itself. So be aware of its location. Also be aware of its cone of fire, so what direction it's firing and how big that cone is. 
Also be aware of any defenses. So what you'll see with uh, good players is that they'll always back up their MGs with other men or they'll protect their flank with barbed wire, tank traps or mines. So always be aware of these four things. This is Krebs Coho. Thank you.